So this is the Royal Kludge typewriter style keyboard. It looks pretty nice. It does have a collapsible wrist rest here. So you can put that away if you don't want to use it and then fold it out if you do. And then of course it does have the legs on the back and then on the sides they light up as well. Nice rubber grip on the legs. So if you like that clicky sound, I think you will like this one. It's not overly loud compared to some of them, but uh, it is there. Nice bounce on the keys. So this is what it looks like default when you first plug it in. You can also see the lights on the side as well. Each individual key has its own LED light, so that's pretty nice compared to some of those uh, really cheap keyboards like I had. Now, one thing I'm not a big fan of is that they didn't add any instructions on changing the settings or anything. It's all listed on the, on the page, so you actually have to look online to get all the settings to change the LED backlights and everything. So all the settings are used by pressing the FN and then different buttons. So like the FN and then pause will change different designs. FN and page up, page down, FN home, uh, the plus and minus, uh, up and down, uh, where you can just, you can change the brightness, the different uh, colors, the uh, different, uh, I mean, there's just a lot of customizations. I, I really wish they would have included instructions though. I'm kind of having to learn by reading the page and then just testing it out. You could also change the speeds of it. You could change the directions that the lights will flow. I mean, the customizations so far are pretty endless that I'm finding. Uh, there's also where you can like do customizations where you can have like the individual lights for different keys. I haven't gone that far to really customize this, but it is there, it is an option. It's not really something I'm going to spend a ton of time to do, but if it's something that you're interested in, this keyboard does have it. I mean, you could play all day just learning the different things this keyboard will do. You could have multiple colors within each design and layout as well. Uh, like I said, you can spend all day just figuring out all this stuff. With me, I'm going to probably find a couple different colors that I like and kind of stick with it, but uh, it is nice that if you get bored, you can kind of just switch it up a little bit. But I will put in the comments down below, or not the comments, but the description down below, I will put all the different commands, and that way you can find them easily. Also... I'll put a link to it if you want to check it out. It is a 4.8 out of 5 stars with a lot of reviews, so it is a very highly recommended and uh, highly reviewed keyboard. And it's really cool looking. I mean, it's definitely different. It's going to take a little bit to get used to it just because the keys are shaped a little bit differently. The layout is just slightly different with like the space between them and everything. I've already caught myself uh, making a few mistakes just trying to get used to this. I've been using the same keyboard for over a year. Uh, but anyway, definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment below.